Hey guys and welcome back to American Truck Sim. We've already picked up our job because we've done it at the end of the last one, so let's just get into the game. Uh, right. We are... Let's have a little look. We good? Yeah, we even picked up and everything. Right, let's start up. So that was the engine. Right, let's get out. Let's get out of here! Just rally this BZ. Better not rally it too hard. Don't want to fark my engine up. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. It's really interesting, like, starting... Nothing comes down here, this is a one-way road. Oh no, it's not, fuck. That looks like... Oh no, it is a one-way road. Um. Yeah, it's really interesting starting off with um, with a load already in tow. That's really weird. Alright, we're sitting at 30 mile an hour. Let's uh, cruise control and on we go. Uh, this beautiful Nevada desert. <laughs> oh, great, it's so, it's so lovely. Why did I end up taking a new job? I think the, the time on the previous video was pretty low and that's why I ended up going for a new job. Oh no, it wasn't. I was wanting to finish my thought. I was I was deep in thought. Uh, calm down truck, what was that all about? Just pure slam to a stop. Ugh. It's gotta be a fucking nightmare to get out of here, isn't it? I hate these. Oh my god, truck, hurry. Oh, for fuck's sake, I could have got out there if that truck didn't slow down to a fucking crawl. See, hmm. This brings me on to something I've spoken about before, but really fucking bugs me. See if you see someone try to turn on to something that's going this fast. Pull out. Pull out into the other fucking lane. Obviously there's a lot of traffic here. But, like, ah, uh, don't be a dick. Don't be that guy. See this fucking truck here? I'm pulling right out in front of it. Yeah, you're gonna have to slow down, truck. No, apparently not. <laughs> apparently that truck gave no fucks. The amount of fucks given by that truck was zilch. My god, really? Fucking tra- oh my god. I'm playing a game and get st <laughs> stuck in fucking traffic. Right, this truck here is gonna have to slow his fucking roll. Slow your roll, bitch! I'm coming out, motherfucker. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I got to let it show. Right. Let's get going. So what's your topic of conversation for today, hmm? I was wanting to talk about oh, 80 mile an hour speed limits. Yes, please. I was wanting to talk about YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. So I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day, who's having some. He's a, another YouTuber who was having some YouTube issues. I'm not going to talk about names, but it's not someone that I've worked with before, so you probably wouldn't know who I was referencing anyway. But. Um, he was having some issues with his channel. He's been getting a lot of people, a lot of trolls on his channel recently that have basically been saying shit like, uh, you're only playing this game for views and uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You should be playing X, Y, and Z. Uh, like you've lost touch with your fans, this, that, and the other. And he was getting really down about it, and it was making him not want to play certain games, and... Yeah, it was... I don't know. Like I said, he was getting a bit down about it. So, I was talking to him, and... It's one of the things that I... This is the way that I personally like to do my YouTube, hence why we're playing a fucking American Truck Simulator. But, I... Every game I play on YouTube, I play because I enjoy it. Because I'm a firm believer of, if you enjoy a game, that comes through. I can get past this, bitch. I bet I can. 
Um, if you enjoy a game that comes through, and your audience enjoys it, and therefore your enjoyment is imparted on them, regardless of what situation they're currently in. So I, I like to do YouTube to entertain people, because that, at the end of the day, is why people come to YouTube to be entertained. And I said to them, I was like, they're just like, whatever games you enjoy playing, you play. And if your community aren't happy about that, then uh, they're not really the community that you want. They're not the people you want in your community. What I enjoy about YouTube is I'll play whatever makes me happy and that'll draw like-minded people to the channel. So I better slow the fuck down. Slow your slow your roll there, Stijo. Um, nope. Up to seventh. There we go. So, in my opinion, if you say you really, really enjoy playing Resident Evil. Let's use that for an example. Say you're a massive Resident Evil fan, and obviously you know why I'm using, choosing Resident Evil as an example here, but if you're a massive Resident Evil fan and you just love playing Resident Evil games, then, like, you you play some Resident Evil games, you play some other survival horrors, and you just happen to play a survival horror game like Resident Evil that you did enjoy, but was much more popular on your channel and you got thousands of subs on it. And they're all like, oh, why don't you play this game? Why don't you play this game? Like, why don't you play... I uh, go back to playing... Well, I'm trying to think of a fucking... The f let's say it was The Forest, right? It's a bit different to Resident Evil. But let's say you played The Forest, you enjoyed your time with it, but you played it through once, so you're like, alright, okay. But you really enjoy playing Resident Evil, but you got, like, thousands upon thousands of subs off of The Forest. And you go back to playing Resident Evil and everyone in your comment section is like, Oh, why don't you play The Forest? Oh man, you've really lost touch. Why are you playing this shit? Etc, etc. Like, I can see why that would get you down. But at the end of the day, you want people there who's going to enjoy the games that you enjoy playing. But you do see on YouTube a lot people who do it the opposite way around. And they follow the trends and they follow everything that's going to get them big on YouTube. And I know a couple of people like this that are like, okay, whatever PewDiePie or Markiplier is playing, like, that's the game I need to be on because I need those subs, I need those views, like, I need to get a massive channel and do that now. And when you know them in real life and then look at them on their videos, they're fake as fuck, like, oh, fuck. Um, they are, they're fake as fuck. And... I mean, like, the when you see the audiences that they pull in, I'm not being, I'm not wanting to be a dick here about this, but when you see the audiences that they pull in, it's generally kids, it's generally people that they themselves cannot relate to. So when you see them meeting them at um, conventions and stuff like that, it's basically just, okay, here, here's my signature. Um, right, okay, here's a picture, here's a selfie, see you later, type thing. And yeah, these people have got massive channels. Like, don't don't get me wrong, they've worked super hard to be where they are. But in my opinion, I do YouTube because I want to have a community of people like me. And I get that by playing games that I enjoy. And it works both ways as well. I mean, if those are the types of games that you enjoy playing, then, like, oh fuck, I've missed eighth gear. Uh, if those are the games that you enjoy playing, then fucking go ahead, play them. Like, if you want to play the latest clickbait, like, if you want to play, uh, what was it called, Goat Simulator, then, and that's the type of game that you and yourself enjoy, then sure, go ahead and play it. Like, I'm not going to judge you. But if you're just wanting to, to play the latest trending thing just to get numbers on numbers on numbers, then, ugh, I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but... In my opinion, the way that I like to do YouTube is, and I've always done this from the start, is I create a channel that I would like to watch. So the full, the way that my content's laid out, like the, and I always laugh about this. The fact that I do zero editing isn't because, well, it isn't. It isn't. That isn't because I'm lazy, like, or and it isn't because I don't know how to edit. Because I know how to edit. I know how to edit pretty well. I'm a fucking dab hand with the old After Effects as well, but I just don't use it. Um, I've got loads of th stuff that I've made that I might <laughs> upload to YouTube 
but just off that I made my spare time just to do it. But um, also the fact that I'm not editing means that I can publish more content. But the reason I don't edit is because I don't like watching highly edited content. It doesn't do it for me. I don't like seeing content that's got massive chunks of the games cut out just so you can see the next funny moment. I like seeing the struggle. It's like um, the difference between playing, watching someone playing Dark Souls and watching them die time after time after time on a boss to then finally do it. It's the difference between that. I thought I'd fucking done something wrong there and got fined. It's the difference between that and watching someone die on a boss once, them cut the rest out and then you see them beat the boss. You, there's no connection there, you lose the connection of like being part of that struggle. And that's what I like about YouTube, which is why I don't cut anything out. I mean, I've watched people play American Truck Sim and they cut out the driving bit, which, okay, fair enough, like, if you're going to do that, but... I mean, surely the driving part's half of the game. Oh, I can absolutely floor it on here because we've got a 75. Hey, we're in Arizona! Yay! Um, yeah, like, I don't know. It's kind of most of the game, isn't it? I mean, there are people that do American Truck Sim playthroughs where they cut out all the drive and you see them uh, pick up the thing, drop off a thing, pick up a thing, drop off a thing, pick up a thing, drop off a thing. And you just see where they've driven and like them accruing the money, etc, etc, but... Ugh, I don't know. I like the chats that we have on our journeys. Which is pretty much why I play this game and I think it's pretty much why most of you guys watch it. I don't think you guys watch it to see the... Uh, the pretty scenery go by. Mate, get out my fucking... Get out my way. You better hurry the fuck up because I am not bleeding off this speed. You absolute chode. Oh, you dick. You fucking dick and you're slamming on your brake. Oh, it's 65. It goes down to here. Shoot. There we go. Let's just... uh, Let's pop the cruise control to 65 and let the truck do it itself then. Boo! Pop over into the inside lane. Uh, but yeah, I think that's why most of you guys watch it anyway. Actually, comment section below to be that type of guy. Um, is it is it the, the progression of the game that you guys enjoy watching or is it the stupid chats that we have on the way? Like, why do you enjoy watching American Truck Sim? Because I enjoy playing American Truck Sim. One, yes, because of the progression. I do like the progression, although it's... It's very slow in American Truck Sim, so and Euro Truck Sim's the same. It's quite slow progression, so it's not that big a deal. But I just enjoy getting to chill out and shoot the breeze and chat some shit as we go from place to place. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. But anyway, yeah, back to the back to the topic at hand. Um I always wanted to make my channel the way I enjoyed watching content, so you don't see any uh, end slates on any of my stuff, whereas you might see a lot of other YouTubers making end slates and it's like, click here to go to the next video and click here to to go to a random wacky video, hey hey! <laughs> Alright, I don't know why I turned it across to the client, but yeah, you get you get the drift, it's like, click here to go to the next video, click here to go to a random video and uh, click here to go to my newest video or some shit like that. And yes, it all looks nice and very professional, but I don't like that when I'm watching YouTube because I like to watch stuff in playlists, which is why all of my videos are nicely organized into playlists, going from episode one all the way to the, to the last episode, not the other way around because that's just fucking ridiculous. And that's the way I like to enjoy content. And when I'm watching a playlist, I don't want to have to go, oh great, there's like a 30 second end slate, let's skip that and go to the next thing. Also, it's the exact same with long intros and outros. I don't like them. I skip them. Which... I've heard there there are a couple of people that I know that are like, oh yeah, if... Like, just any sort of intro or outro, and I'll skip it. And it's like, even if it's a couple of seconds, wow, I totally over-revved there. I'm like, eh, I'm not sure about that one, mate. Like... Who... I can't even remember who it was, but yeah, they were... There was someone that does like a, a tiny little intro. I think it was Nerd Cubed and his Hello Procrastinators thing, and they're like, yeah, I'll just skip it. 
And I'm like, uh, that's not even that much of an intro that he does. Like, that's taken it a bit far. But yeah, if anyone's got massively long intros, it just turns me off because if I'm watching this in a playlist to kind of follow the progression of the story and you're fucking spending nine hours doing an intro, you can piss off. And it's the exact same with, uh, like I said, with Enslates and people with massive outros. Like, I don't want to have to skip while I'm watching in a playlist in order to get past your outro. So, nee. So fuck you and your long outros. Yeah, eh, I don't know. That's just the way that I enjoy watching YouTube content anyway. Other people's mileage may vary because we're all humans after all, but... But yeah, so I made my channel, fucking go back to the start of the conversation, I made my channel in a way that I enjoy watching content uh, and I am very happy in the fact that I've managed to bring people to my channel who are very much like me. So the last fan meet that i done was when I went to Amsterdam and I got to meet uh, a couple of you guys and one guy I got to meet whose name I forget why because I'm a fucking dickhead that's why um, one guy I got to meet actually didn't meet me at the main fan meet he tweeted at me after the fan meet had uh, was done I think it was actually the next day he tweeted at me and he was like oh Stejo like oh, I'm sorry I missed the fan meet I just saw your video um, the day or yesterday or whatever and like is it possible that I could meet up with you today like do you have any free time and at first I was like, fuck man, I don't really have much free time because I was meeting with a lot of developers and stuff. Um, but I was like, nah, whatever, I'll make some time. So I said to him, I was like, yeah, but I'll only have like half an hour. Uh, so the guy the guy came along and uh, we went to Starbucks and grabbed a coffee and we got chatting. And that half an hour was literally three hours of us chatting. And I kid you not, the guy was a Dutch version of me just without the YouTube. He was basically into all the same stuff as me. Um, he rides a motorbike um, and he's currently studying law in university and it's like, fucking hell dude. Like, I knew that I would, like, I would bring people to the channel who were like me. I didn't know that I would get a fucking Dutch clone. <laughs> but uh, no, that was like, that was honestly, yeah. Probably one of the greatest experience, the greatest YouTube experiences that I've had was meeting someone who was just so similar to me. Obviously, I don't want to take away from like the other fan meet because that was awesome as well. I really enjoyed meeting all you guys, as I always do. Um, but yeah, it was just it was incredible, just realizing just how similar this guy was to me. I don't know. It kind of it kind of made me happy in thinking that what I was doing um, was the right thing because. I was bringing people who are like me to watch the same content as me. The same content I was putting out. Fuck. I can't even speak, I'm rambling on, but you get my drift. I'm sure you do. But yeah, Amsterdam was great. Um, that being said, actually, I, I've got a couple of announcement videos to do for different conventions and stuff that I'm doing in the UK for any of you Brits. So. <clears throat> But I'll do I'll do them in separate videos, but I'll just let you know, just in case any of you guys watching this want to nip along to any of these. Um, the first one I'm doing is at the end of this month, which is going to be a bit dated if anyone's watching through in the playlist, which I do apologise, because always, once again, I hate that when I'm watching stuff and people are like, oh yeah, so last week I done this, and it's like, well, last week to me could be like three years ago, did. Um, but yeah, at the end of this month, I'll, make, I'll try and make this short. The end of this month, I am going to uh, RTG Fest or Resonate Fest uh, festival in Glasgow. Um, for anyone who wants to meet up there, I'll obviously I'll have a lot of free time and I'll be meeting up with fans there. Um, I hate fans as well. Fans makes me sound like a fucking pop star. I'll be meeting up with anyone who wants to meet me there. Um, subbies, <laughs> subbies with chubbies. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting, Steve. Um, so I'll be meeting up with any of you guys there. Uh, I... I actually want to do a burly here. So that I'm reversing driver's side. Uh, I'll be meeting up with any subs there. Uh, the next one I'll be doing will be... Uh, Insomnia 58 down in Birmingham. 
Uh, you can like check the website for when that is. I think it's the end of next month. And then after that, we've got EGX down in Birmingham as well, uh, which is the month after, as far as I recall. So yeah, two two in Birmingham, one in Glasgow. So yep, if any of you guys are going to any of that, let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, I'll also be doing a announcement video for each of them. So don't you worry, there will be plenty more announcements. So if anyone doesn't watch this video, though, they'll, they'll be able to go, oh shit, Steve's going to Resonate or Steve's going to EGX. We'll need to. I'll need to get going there, I want to meet the, the Steejo himself. And I don't know what I'll do, I'll like, probably go for coffee or something like that again. Like, uh, I'm not a fan of, once again, I'm not a fan of these like, Come and meet me and I will sign your deck! Although, I mean, if anyone wants me to sign their deck, it's uh... Just give me a five on a brown envelope and I'll meet you five minutes later around the back of the convention centre. That's a fucking, that's a parking job and a half. I, big fan, big fan of that park. Boop. Drop those legs, baby. Sweet fertilizer from Prim to Camp Verde, which means Camp Green. Continue. Sorted, but unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.